Welcome to Atlas. This is a tutorial on how to change usernames and passwords. And as you're logged in, as each person is logged in, they have the ability to, to change their password and profile. And that's under System Basics. And you can click on Password and Profile. And I happen to be logged in as Atlas Demo, which is one of our um, logins into play sites. And uh, you can see I can change either my username or my password and both of these fields can be changed together or independently both of them are case sensitive and you can use uh, numbers letters and also symbols so you can create a really really strong combination of a username and a password the user also has the ability to change the address their address and this information is important if you're running them through payroll because when you print out their paycheck and their 1099s or their W-2s, it's going to have the proper um, information on it. So that's where you could change as a user, you could change your password and profile right here. If you're a manager or an owner of a company, you can, you can go into system management and you can click on payees and permissions. And down below, you will see a list of all the different um, employees that you have, users that you have in the system. And if you have the permission, you can click on here and you can also change their username and their password for them. Um, nobody is ever allowed to see what the passwords are. So if somebody does forget their password, the best thing to do is just to go in and reset their password to something simple and then maybe tell them what their username is and allow them to try to log in again. The other thing that's really important about usernames and passwords is that if a person tries to log in three times because we fall under online banking security, we have to lock that device down. To unlock the device, because you're going to you'll get an error that says exceeded maximum attempts. To unlock that device, if you go to the main switchboard homepage, at the very bottom of this page is a link. And this link is the link that you need to set into the browser window. So when the device is locked down, what you can do is you can double click behind whatever um, is in the URL window and you can backspace all the way over to right here to where just take out, there'll be other information in here, but take that out and then put in login underscore reset dot CFM. If you want to, if you have quite a few employees, what I would suggest if you have a smartphone is go into the notes of the smartphone and type this in, the login underscore reset dot CFM. That way if an employee calls you and says that they've locked themselves out of the system, you can give them this little piece to type in, you know, after this forward slash uh, behind secret and then they can reset and then that allows them three more attempts to log in now if they haven't logged if they have forgotten their username or password you will have to go and possibly log in yourself underneath usernames and permissions and go and change their username and possibly their password to you know so that they can log in and once again this has been a tutorial on how you would set your user uh, name and password and for a user they would click on password and profile and for a owner or a manager they would go under permissions and payees and then they could choose that person and set their password. That concludes and thank you for choosing Atlas.